and welcome to your gun market update for today and a couple of charts of interest that have caught our eye today as well it is the 10th of january 2023 mike smith senior analyst at gun market so lead you around what's happening over the news wires right now of course we had a mixed session on wall street overnight the nasdaq outperformed slightly the dow actually finished in negative territory we saw significant buy in early on and that early enthusiasm was dented by comments from a couple of fed members who were fairly hawkish about interest rate rises in the coming 12 months possibly more so than the market was expecting we obviously get u.s earnings season kicking off this week we've got some inflation data coming out of the u.s and we have got jerome powell speaking later on today so lots for the markets to digest potentially as we see if we can get a little push out of the current range we're trading in on the major indices u.s futures are near neutral in early asian trading just seeing them drop off over the last hour or so so now slightly negative and we're seeing that caution in asian indices as well asx is down slightly around about 0.3 percent the nikkei is outperforming it and is actually in positive territory european equity futures are pointing lower and the vix is up slightly on the back of that equity weakness the us dollar continues to look weak it dropped again to breach seven month lows on decreasing bond yields we are seeing a slight recovery today in commodities gold has bounced to retest that key 1875 level and it looks as though we may be on pause until we get that inflation data out and some comments from jerome powell tonight copper has edged higher to that key four dollar level which we referenced earlier and oil is just about holding over lows from last year bitcoin moved back over 17,000 around about 17200 and towards the top of that current range but it doesn't look as though there's a lot of buying pressure to take it much higher than that relatively quiet day today again and we've had japanese cpi data already out which is a bit mixed we've got lots of references to positive impact of china reopening possibly the major event today is jerome powell's address in stockholm that might be interesting Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. We're going to start with Sunfire. We've been following this stock over the last few days. Uh, and you can see it is having another go at breaching $6. Over the last couple of sessions, we've seen it jump fairly significantly out of this trading range through 565 and now tackling 6. If we do get some continued buying in this, 640 looks like a reasonable price target in the short term. With that US dollar weakness that we're seeing, we're seeing the aussie dollar uh, back up to highs not seen really since september and we just a little shy towards the back end of the session you can see we did get up to 69.63 and then pull back along with equities towards the back end you can see that there resembles a double top type of formation there but we need the confirmation through 69 to push us back down again and even then that isn't a massive drop so maybe the usd taking a pause in its trajectory down uh, but we've got a couple of nice lines there to say well look if we breach 69.50 then there could be some more buying comes in and ultimately possibly that takes us up towards 70 cents which should be in the medium term or will depend on what comes out later in the week trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now